Tens of thousands of people in Singapore have said farewell to the first prime minister of the island nation. The state funeral for Lee Kuan Yew was held on Sunday. Lee died a week ago at the age of 91. He laid a groundwork for Singapore's economic growth during his 25-year rule. He did sacrifice a lot for us his whole life. Uh, long, lifelong sacrifices, lifelong commitments to make our country from a poor nation to what we are today, one of the richest nations in the world. When I say his name, I feel like very grateful for him. Asian leaders, including Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, and South Korean President Park Geun-hye attended the ceremony. Lee's eldest son, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Long, gave a eulogy. He said his father had built a nation from the ashes of separation from Malaysia. He stressed Singapore has been built on fundamental values, multiracialism, equality, integrity, and the rule of law. It remains our duty to continue his life's work, to carry the torch forward and keep the flame burning bright. The Prime Minister said Lee intended to see that Singapore will be here a thousand years from now. He said his father had done his duty and more. People observed a moment of silence to mourn the founding father of Singapore.